Welcome to June 15th. Today we just beat a game. It's called uh, Metal Gear Rising Revenge Revenge and Rising. Um, Metal Gear Rising, basically. And uh, this is like I don't know if it's the first non Konami developed Metal Gear game, but it was one of them, man. And it was it, was, it wasn't bad. Really. It just I know, it wasn't a Metal Gear game. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into that, you know. Mainly one, the gameplay of Metal Gear has always not really been good. You know, and this is completely different from those games. It's straight up action, uh, ninja action game where you're, I guess you could say very similar to Ninja Gaiden or Devil May Cry or, you know, God of War or something. Um... You know, the core mechanics rely on basically clearing the, the eight missions in the game, um, killing enemies, basically give you points. At the end of the mission, you can upgrade your character, and uh, from there you'll get new moves and upgrade your health bar, stuff like that and everything. But No, the core mechanic, though, is simply you have a sword, because you're a ninja. And you have a, it's a, you slice through things like un unbelievably things, huge things, Metal Gear size, robots, mechs, humans. Uh, you know, you cut every, boulders. You cut through buildings at some point in the game. You know, it's extremely um, unrealistic. You know, and that's awesome. I, I I'm a love. I'm a firm believer in unrealistic, epic action. You know, like you know, you look at Kill Bill where characters like running up something and shooting everybody kills like. 300 people in one room and stuff, you know. This is like ultra unrealistic. Though. This is like characters running up a building while slashing rubble and dodging rockets, then jumping onto the rockets, then running up a stream of rockets up to the helicopter, then slicing its propeller off. You know, it's just over the top sexiness always. Um, and that's good. It's good for the most part. But, you know, the gameplay still just doesn't feel. It still doesn't feel good, you know. It's. I don't know. You know, the, the game's based around, uh, like, a scoring system. You can get up to S ranks on every mission in the game. Well, not every mission, every portion. Like, every level has, like, four to ten portions. Little, like, basically they're just kind of, like, little fights. And depending on how good you get, or how good, how well you handled yourself, you'll get, like I said, I think it's, like, F through S. I never got anything below a C. So, I basically just got C, Bs, and a couple S's and A's throughout the game. Um, you know, it just, it doesn't feel like, I don't know, the combo system just doesn't really feel that interesting to me, you know, they don't really tell you, like, XXY, XXY, diagonal X, like, to me, I just pretty much mashed, not even mashed, really, I, it's just, the combos didn't feel that different, so there's no point to do it, um, but the slashing mechanic is really interesting, uh, Pretty much, that's another thing I didn't really understand is w when can you do it and when can you not do it. Some enemies you just have to hit them enough and then uh, your screen will flash and then you know, hold down the trigger and then like, the the Japanese character for slash or whatever will pop up and then you just you slash that little red beep, the, the little red marker that pops up, which is cool because then it lets you basically fully restore your health bar and your electrolytes. That's pretty cool, but. There were certain enemies, um, for example, the geckos. I was fighting geckos. You fight, they're like small Metal Gears, pretty much. You fight these guys, and it's like sometimes you can steal their energy, sometimes you can't steal their energies. You know, sometimes you just have to wail on them until they just blow up. Sometimes you're able to kill them really fast. I didn't understand that because sometimes enemies you can just pull down the left trigger automatically and just get the slash kill in there. Sometimes you can't. Um, it just it felt all over the place at some points. And, you know, I tried my best to try to learn all the mechanics and everything. I was actually going into the options and looking at the, uh, the command list. You know, it actually has all the, uh, combos in the game in there. So I was trying to do those. Trying to do my best to, like, <sighs> see which ones chain into each other and you can use those combos. And for the, for the most part, I pretty much just relied on the, um, I'd run into an enemy with my dash kick, then I would just combo with X and Y a couple times, and then I would uh, double tap forward and hit Y button, so you do like a lunging attack. And that would basically kill every enemy really fast. Well, the the big enemies, the little enemies in this game are nothing. You just wail on them, they're dead. 
Uh, like I said, the game's like eight missions long. A couple missions are super short. First mission's pretty short. I think it's mission six. It's just a boss fight. It's pretty short. The final mission is um, you pretty much run a straight line to the boss. You you clear a couple rooms, but you go straight to the boss. They they throw in a couple areas where it's possible to stealth, but th those rely on you using cardboard boxes, stealth kills, and just sneaking past things. Oh shit! Is there something out there? The credits. What? Alright, that's an even weirder ending from the actual ending. I mean, the normal ending just ends it, but... Was that like a hint at another game, or what? Why is it still there? Title screen, why are you still there? Oh, you have the hit button. Oh, I got a game result screen. Alright, overall I did a C rank on normal mode. I died, uh... Times I die. I'm not seeing that. Total kills, remaining enemies, continues. Oh, 30. I died 35 times. That's pretty bad. Um, alert 75. Beheadings 8. Oh. Severed left arms. Uh. Title Passing Ring. Complete normal or higher in less than 8 hours. Damn. Mr. 1% complete normal or higher difficulty while earning 300,000 BP or more. Complete normal or higher difficulty while using high frequency blades of weapons. Oh wow, I only used the high frequency. Oh wow. It's not bad. I, I don't know if those unlocks really mean anything. The game has a lot of, uh. I don't know. I guess suggested replay ability, you know. You beat the game, like I said, in under eight hours there. It took me probably five or six hours at least. And, uh... It's just based really... The achievements are pretty much just based around beating it over and over and over again. I only got 305 gamers score in my playthrough. Complete the story mode on Revengeance with all S rankings. I mean, these achievements are fucking nuts. It's like beating the game without taking a single hit from bosses. Uh... Destroy a total of... 100 custom cyborgs, and yeah, it's pretty easy. And then there's so many collectibles, man. Get these collectibles out of here. Rescue all the civilians? What the hell is that? And, uh, and then there's DLC stories. I don't care, man. Um, th That's enough with gameplay. It just, to me, it felt like an average action, like an action game. Um, I'd give it a .5 out of 1. You know, it's, it's not bad, but it's just not anything interesting. Um, story. It's it's not typical Metal Gear because you're not using the same characters, but you do have a couple characters from the old games, and it, for the most part, it's, it's their story, not the old character story. So it's not like it's not bad. It's just I don't know. It's very predictable, and it's just it's an action movie. You know, it's nothing crazy. You're not gonna get anything out of it. It's cool to see Sonny's back in here. Uh, it's mainly Raiden's story about how um, he had it rough as an orphan kid or whatever he was experimented on, and he had rough childhood, so he's trying to like save these orphans and fight an organization called Desperado and all that. It's really a Kojima hates politician story, really. It's always how war has this other hidden agenda. Story also gets a point five. It's cool to see some characters and. I like Raiden, he's a good guy. But, it's nothing new.
and nice for soundtrack and music stuff. Amazing voice acting like usual. The music's pretty good. A lot of uh, vocal songs and rock, metal, whatever you want to call it. So, I give the game a 2 out of 3. You know, it's not bad, but it's... I would probably wouldn't play through it again. You know? Yeah, that's my thoughts. I'm gonna end it here, probably. Go, uh... I'm debating if I want to, uh... Go to sleep. Or, um... I just drink one of these bad boys. Probably can't see it, but... I don't know if I'm gonna go to sleep or work out. I'm still a little woozy-doozy. Alright. There. I'm gonna end it here. Goodbye, have a good morning. June 15th, I believe. I've got work in, uh... Maybe about 12 hours, almost. Have a good night. Good morning, I think. Me, 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 me